In today's video, I'm going to share with you how you can create a gorgeous Christmas centerpiece step by step using Dollar Tree and Hobby Lobby items. Keep watching. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Ramona Home. I am so excited you guys are here today because in this video, I'm going to share with you how to make a gorgeous Christmas centerpiece with Dollar Tree and Hobby Lobby items step by step. I'm going to give you instructions on how you can create a gorgeous centerpiece for your dining table this Christmas season. So if you are interested, please stay tuned. Don't forget to like this video and share with your friends. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up because that really helps the channel. And if you are already subscribed, don't forget to turn the notification bell on because you will not want to miss what's coming next here on the channel. Are you guys ready? Let me give you all of the materials you're going to need. The materials we're going to need for this gorgeous centerpiece are two blocks of foam from the Dollar Tree as well as this tray from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to use a little bit of a leftover garland that I went ahead and spray painted a little, I gave it a little dust of white spray paint. I'm gonna use my wire cutters and my scissors. I'm gonna use a remote operated LED candle. You can find this on amazon.com. I'm gonna use a little bit of my hot glue gun just to glue a few elements. I'm gonna move this over here. For my floors, I'm gonna use three stems of this glitter fern from Hobby Lobby, as well as this really beautiful flat cedar pick with pine cones. I'm gonna use two of these. I'm gonna use five to six of these snowed eucalyptus, three gorgeous poinsettias on this taupe color, some berries for accents. I'm gonna use a little bit of this taupe ribbon from Hobby Lobby and three stems of this cedar from the Dollar Tree. So now that we know all of the materials we're gonna need for this centerpiece, it's time to get started. What you do is you're gonna grab your garland and you're going to very tightly go against that foam and you're going to go all the way around the perimeter like this once you get to the corner what you want to grab is one of these bristles from this side one from this side and you want to do it as tight as possible so that garland will stay in place like this so you're going to be left with something like this once it's there, what you want to do is you want to give it a little fluff and make sure that you have enough bristles all the way around because we're going to need them to attach some of the things. And then also you want to lift some of them up so it covers some of your mechanics like this. If you don't have a Lacey Susan, I really do recommend to get one because it makes floral design, centerpiece design really easy. And next year we're going to be doing a lot of floral design, so I really hope that you'll come back for that if you want to learn how to do fresh florals. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hurricane in the middle and I'm going to go ahead and mark a circle around it because that way when we have a circle inside of it, as I'll show you guys right now, I don't know if you can see, but that way you know where you can poke your florals and where you cannot. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this ribbon and I'm going to dovetail, of course, the beginning right here. And I'm going to do some loops, but I want them very small because I have a lot of really beautiful things that I'm going to add. So they're going to be probably about five inch loops. I don't want it to be too big. And what you do is you basically grab these two bristles and you go up and down and then you pull. And when you pull, make sure that you fluff again your bristles so they stay in place. I'll show you one more time right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these two bristles. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm going to go up down and then you fluff and that why your ribbon is going to stay in place right there this ribbon is from hobby lobby and it is absolutely gorgeous it's super affordable i like it because it has this tiny little mesh in the middle and it just gives it that sparkle it has so much glitter it's so pretty by the way what is your theme this christmas season be sure to leave me a comment down below and let me know what is your theme and have you started decorating for the holidays yet I haven't, I'm going to be honest with you, but my theme is a frozen Christmas. And what I'm doing this year is no glitter in my house, but it's going to be all crystals and glass. And I'm super excited to show you guys in the home tour coming very, very soon. All right, so I'm going to end right here with this loop. And what you want to do is you want to go ahead and grab your scissors and cut right here and I'm gonna give it a longer tail like this always dovetail your ribbon look how pretty 
that is because I was going to touch the table and I'll show you guys. But you're left with something like this. It almost looks like a wreath um, on your table. Look how pretty this is. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my wire cutters and I'm going to cut this Dollar Tree flat seater. You guys know if you've been following the channel that I like to cut it all at once because that way it makes it easier and faster. By the way, I'm making this video with no edits because I want to show you guys how fast it is to make a centerpiece for your dining table this holiday season. Right, so now what I'm going to do, remember we have a circle right here. I'm going to start right here inserting on the circle and that's just going to give it some texture. Remember when you're making a centerpiece, a wreath or a swag or a Christmas tree or anything that you're doing, remember this rule. What goes up must come down. So you put one up, must come down. And then what happens on the left happens on the right. So you immediately want to go ahead and cross your design. What goes up must come down. And what goes happens in the left happens on the right. So now I'm going to give it a twist like this and I'm going to do it on this side right here. What goes up must come down like this. And then you spin all the way around and remember what happens on the left happens on the right. And so now you have a very balanced centerpiece like this. So now you have all the four corners. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do now the center right here. And notice how I'm inserting this sideways. I don't want it to be straight up, but I want it to be sideways because that's what makes it spill forward. So what goes up must come down. Now I'm going to spin all the way around and I'm going to go right here. What goes up must come down. And I always tell you guys to save some of these for later. So I like to save some of them for later. So I'm going to put it right here on the side. Okay, perfect. So now I'm going to get some of those florals and I'll be right back with you. I just want to take a quick break to invite you to come and join me on my Instagram for daily Insta stories behind the scenes and all of the things that you don't get to see here on my YouTube channel. The link to my social media along with my Facebook for Facebook Lives every Friday is going to be linked down below in the description box below. All right, let's get back to the video. Okay, so the next thing I want to add is some of these flocked white cedar and this is just absolutely gorgeous it came on a pick but i took it apart that's another secret you guys just because it comes in a pick doesn't mean that you have to leave it on a pick but you get more bang for your buck if you take it apart like i did right here so i'm gonna put one right here and they're a little tall so you might want to make sure that you um, take them apart and then cut them down a little bit and remember what happens on the left happens on the right that's why I always when i do one side i always like to spin around and then also remember to add them sideways. So what goes up must come down right here. You could, if you are making this to sell, I really recommend to go ahead and glue this. At this point, you can use your hot glue gun or you can use your um, glue skillet to glue. I'm gonna go ahead and add this one right here like that. See, and I just added that snowy branch and it's going to really help my centerpiece to look a little bit more flocked. All right, so now what I'm going to add is some of these eucalyptus that I show you I bought from Hobby Lobby. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and give them a little fluff like this. And I'm going to add one right here like this. And remember what goes up must come down right here. I'm actually going to put it right here in the corner. Then go ahead and give it a whole spin. You're going to repeat right here. And then I'm going to do one right here. This really adds that nature feel to it and it makes it look more natural versus too much glitter. And that's why I like adding a little bit of this beautiful, beautiful $1, you guys. This is $1 at Hobby Lobby. Can you believe that? I mean, how gorgeous is that? I'm going to add one more over here. Like this on the bottom. Perfect. I like this already. All right, so then this pick came with some of these pine cones. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add them up here. I'm going to add a few of them together because once again, that will add a little bit of nature to it. Okay, perfect. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of glitter because what would Christmas be without the glitter, right? So I'm going to cut right here. I'm going to cut this stem into two. Once again, if you already paid for it, might as well just cut it and make something different. So give it a little bit like this so it gives it a little bit of fly. 
and look at that. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and spin and I'm gonna bring this one up here. And then I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna grab another one. And then I'm gonna grab my wire cutters. Let's go ahead and cut in half. Oh, yeah, I didn't cut the hole all the way. See how easy this is, you guys? It is not rocket science. If I can do it, so can you. I promise you, just give it a try. And I promise you two can have a gorgeous centerpiece this Christmas season on your table. Look at that. I'm gonna add one right here. So now I'm gonna add this little one. You wanna add the ones that have less product on the top and the ones that have more product on the bottom. So now I'm gonna do this side right here. I have one more, I only purchased three. So I'm gonna make sure that I use them all. And I'm gonna cut right here. Thumbs up if you guys are enjoying this Christmas season. I had so much fun. I'm having so much fun because we still have so much to go. Showing you all these Christmas ideas for your home. Okay, so I'm gonna add this one right here on the bottom. Like that. Look how pretty this is, oh my goodness. So sparkly, so pretty. All right, so now I have some of these berries and these ones, I'm gonna add the whole cluster. So basically, let's see. Let me see if I, yeah, I need to cut a little bit of it. Like this, so I'm gonna add one right here. Once again, these berries is just gonna be a little touch of flyaway. Remember, it won't be a Ramona home unless it has some flyaway. I'm gonna add one right here. We'll fluff those ribbons towards the end to make sure that they all show. So there's two, I'm gonna switch around. I only have five, so I have to make sure that I do a triangle. Remember, you always wanna work in a shape. If you have even numbers, like four, then you do a square. If you have uneven numbers, then you wanna do the shapes that have not a shape like that. Like in this case, it's going to have to be a triangle because I only have five of them. And I really don't think I need more than that, so. I'm gonna make sure that I go all the way down like this. Look how pretty that is. So there's two, and then I'm gonna add one right here on the top. And you know what, actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this one into two. No, I'm not. You know, you can just decide what, whether you wanna do it or not. Let's see, where do I need it? I feel like I need it over here. I'm gonna add that one right there. But you do wanna make sure that you have some on the top and some on the bottom. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add the candle. I'm gonna bring my candle and put it in the middle just to make sure that I still fit that hurricane. Perfect. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add these poinsettias and I'm gonna go ahead and put one right here on the top, right by the candle so it shows. Once again, I only have three and I only wanted three because I don't want this to be too many. So I'm gonna do a triangle. I'm gonna go here, then I'm gonna go a little bit down on this side. I don't want both on the top on this side, but I wanna make sure that I go down a little bit. So I'm gonna go right here, and then I'm going to find my foam. Excuse me, let me move this around. And I'm gonna go in like that. See how it's one facing up, one facing down? And then I'm gonna do a triangle and I'm gonna put one right here. I wanna make sure that I have some of those elements going up like this, pull it up. And then these things that I had from the beginning, these little ferns or cedar, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna go ahead and add right here on an angle to fly some fly away. So far, so good. I think I have one more element, so stay tuned. All right, you guys, so the last thing I have is this cute little spray from Hobby Lobby and it has these beautiful pine cones in it and they just match perfectly. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna look for a spot like right here. And I thought about adding ornaments, which you can, but I figured these guys right here will look a little bit more natural as you can see. And there's no need for ornaments. If you already have ornaments on your Christmas tree, on your garland, on your wreath, then you can add things like this that will give you that ornamentation, but without having to use a particular ornament. So I'm gonna lift up this guy right here because I want it to be right here in the middle. And now, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I'm gonna turn my candle on and this is what this centerpiece looks like. 
What do you guys think? Be sure to leave me a comment down below. Now, keep in mind, if these are not your colors, I wanted to do something very neutral. But if these are not your colors, change these colors for the ones that you are going for this Christmas season. And you too can have a gorgeous centerpiece on your table um, just by following the instructions. So I cannot wait to read your comments. All right, you guys, so I just wanna show you real quick how gorgeous this centerpiece turned out with a flameless candle in it. And look at these poinsettias. Aren't these just absolutely gorgeous? 250 a Hobby Lobby. And how about that beautiful, beautiful snowed eucalyptus? I just think that you guys would love it. This pine cone right here, the clusters of pine cones are just absolutely perfect. Once again, if this is not your color theme, go ahead and change the colors for the ones you're going for and create yourself a gorgeous centerpiece for your holiday celebration. All right, you guys, well, that's all I have for today. And I really hope you enjoyed and learned a few things about how to create your very own Christmas centerpiece this holiday season. I cannot wait to read your comments. So leave me a comment down below and let me know which was your favorite part and what tip are you taking home and recreating this centerpiece? And what is your color? Let me know what your color and theme for this Christmas is. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out right here, oh no, it's right here, a playlist with all of the centerpieces that I've done here on the channel so you can get inspired to create your own. Thank you for watching, consider subscribing. You can watch more videos right now. Until next time, bye.